Very quick warning, the Blackthorn Prod Discord server was just recently hacked and almost all members banned. I'm really sorry for all those having been kicked out this way. The issue is now solved, but the server is empty. So if you can all come back in, that would be awesome. The link is in the description. All right, let's now jump right into the video. Welcome back to Blackthorn Prod. I'm Noah, and in today's Unity tutorial, we will take a look at how to make a simple yet cool checkpoint system that will get your your character loading back to a previous save position once killed for example. As you can see here I have this smiley character that can run left and right and collide with these numbered golden circles that act as the checkpoints. If I collide with checkpoint 2 for example and then hit space to die, once the scene reloads I'll return to that checkpoint 2 position. Same for checkpoints 3, 4 and 1. With that said let's jump right into Unity and get started. So here I have a simple scene set up with my character that can simply move left and right and these checkpoints sprites that for now do absolutely nothing. We'll begin by making an empty game object called Game Master and add a new C Sharp script to it also called Game Master that will open up inside of my scripting editor. So I want this Game Master script to not destroy itself when I reload my scene. I would like it to store the last checkpoint position the player collided with. And then, as soon as the scene loads up, place the player character at that position. To do so, I'll make a private static variable called instance and in my awake function, which I remind you is called right before start, I'll check with an if statement whether instance is equal to null. If it is, I'll make this the instance, and I'll use the don't destroy on load function so that my object doesn't destroy itself between scenes and doesn't reset all of its information, such as variable values. However, if there already was an instance, I'll destroy the game object. This makes sure we don't find ourselves with multiple game masters in the same scene. Now that that's all done, I'll make a public vector2 variable called last checkpoint pose. Heading back into Unity, I'll now grab all of my checkpoints and give them a 2D circle collider set to trigger. I'll also create a new C Sharp script called checkpoint and also add that to them. Opening it up, I'll make a void on trigger enter 2D function and in the parentheses pass in a collider 2D variable called other. Basically, this function will get called as soon as my checkpoint collides with another object in the scene. Now make sure to type out this function exactly the same as I have here, or the function will never get called. Inside of it, I'll now make an if statement, making sure that what I've collided with is indeed the player character, and not something else like an enemy. To do so, I'll simply check whether what I've collided with has the player tag, which I will add to my player as soon as I head back into Unity. If that's the case, then I want this checkpoint's position to be the Game Master's last checkpoint pose. And so to do so, I need to grab a reference to my Game Master. I'll do so by making making a private variable of type game master called for example gm and then in my start function set gm equal to the game object with a tag called gm which we will also add to our game master when we get back into Unity. And more precisely, the Game Master script component attached to that game object. Now we can simply state inside of our if statement right here that the Game Master's last checkpoint pose is equal to this checkpoint's transform dot position. Heading back into Unity, I'll add to my player the player tag, which Unity created by default. And I'll then add a new tag called GM and add that to the Game Master object. One last thing before hitting play, we need to actually set the player's position to be equal to the Game Master's last checkpoint pose. So I'll make a new c -sharp script called player pose for example, add it to my player and, like I did for the checkpoints, grab a reference to my Game Master. This way I can simply set the player's transform.position to be equal to the Game Master's last checkpoint pose. I'll also make an if statement in my update function, checking whether I hit space and if so, so I'll reload the scene and by doing so, 
make sure things are working nicely. Obviously, if your game has spikes or a monster that already gets the player killed and reloads the scene, you don't need to add these playtesting lines of code. Remember that to reload scenes, you need to add the Unity Engine Management namespace up here, and then simply type scene manager load scene scene manager dot get active scene dot build index, and that will actually reload the current scene. It's a tricky line of code, but you'll soon get the hang of it. Just before hitting play, I'll make sure to type out the starting values for my last checkpoint pose, which should be the same coordinates as my first checkpoint. And now I'll hit play to test this all out. So for example, I'll head over to the second checkpoint and then hit space. And you'll see that my character pops straight to that second checkpoint position. Same thing for all the other checkpoints. Awesome. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this small tutorial and learned a thing or two. Blackthorn Prod has actually almost reached 10,000 subscribers. For me, that's absolutely amazing. And I thank so much each and every person having supported the the channel. And so to celebrate this 10k mark, I'll be making a small Q&A video. So if you have any question about me, my projects, goals, future tutorials and videos, definitely post away in the comment section down below and hopefully I'll be able to give you a satisfying answer. Alright, thanks so much for watching. If you haven't already, consider hitting those like and subscribe buttons. It's so appreciated and encouraging. You can also help me financially via Patreon like these top supporters. Okay, have a great day, stay tuned, cheers! <laughs>